Or maybe no heart attacks. I was going with what the parrot told me and trying to vaguely remember anything but shaking around and feeling like I was numb on the left side of my face with the, some, some terrible nightmares. Anyway, it wasn't any dreams about any kind of roller coasters. It was a blacked out. And then we went into camp songs. It was, oh, Susanna, don't you pledge your life to me. Because I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. I'm no school teacher. It's about that song version, Pledging Your Life to Me. It said that if you're from Alabama, I'm proud to be a slave and etc. And slavery, you know, is uh, being contested in the U.S. or something like that. Black people should be on collars in Alabama. Don't pledge yourself to me. I pick cotton. Don't fall in love with me. That's against the law. I don't even know how to read and write. So Anyway, earlier segments or in past previous beforehand, there was a Oh, Susanna. I don't remember anymore. But that comes along with other medical complications. It kind of makes the show funny because they think I'm just like kind of the town drunk or something. <laughs> It was a decent camp song, yeah. We'll pick something else. I had a few others. I wanted to research Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? and talk about the uh, the baptism scene. And because I thought it was a hilarious the expression on uh, the little scrawny guy's face. He says, and he says, but then uh, Clooney goes, no, no, no. That could be a little bit dangerous. And the third one that was in uh, Monk with uh, the, the detective Adrian Monk, the TV show, had the guy from Silence of the Lambs in it. And, uh, you know, kind of is the middleman, but then it's it's it's, one, it's a wonderful church gospel as far as music musical talent. Uh, yeah, but what I dig, and as far as my more theory as far as religion is concerned, is not that scene in particular. But I would take Man of Constant Sorrow as now that's a religion. That... <laughs> As far as the bird, he would prefer to be one of the baptism ladies uh, mixed with a freak show of her husband. So, gone out of jail, would you go to? And all I can remember after that in the line is uh, something from Children of the Corn, which is a completely separate film. But uh, I guess that makes me funny, right? Like, I'm kind of like, just call me the town drunk. <laughs> He says it's a little spooky. I'm used to it. He's not used to here. I'm used to here by 100 days. He's used to here by three weeks. 100 days flat and with no problems, legal complications, not a note, not a warning, not a citation, nothing in the mailbox, nothing stuck to the door.